Hello guys and welcome back to Flying uh, with Overkill F-18C. This is going to be JDAM JSAO Target of Opportunity Mode using waypoints as well as the targeting pod. So let me show you what we've got going on here. So first we have our F-18C Hornet here and we've set up a couple waypoints. Now the waypoints are going to be necessary for using waypoint designation. Now this can be for any particular item as long as it's going to be a static object. Okay, remember JDAMs, JSAOs, you don't want to use them against moving vehicles because they won't track once you shoot. Okay, so what I've done is placed a waypoint right over the target. So there's the waypoint three, and we did waypoint four. Okay, right over the target. Again, doesn't matter what it is, building, plane, whatever, as long as it's not going to be moving. Okay, so all we're going to do now is go ahead and get in the aircraft, and we'll take a look and see what we do next. See you guys in just a second. All right, so we are in the jet here. We're in an active pause state here. Let me get you, catch you guys up on what we got going on. So first thing we're going to do is set our waypoint. Waypoint two is the target area, but remember three and four were actual targets. So we're going to start with waypoint three. We're just going to box it here. We have our TGP warmed up. The FLIR is set to on. Laser currently is safe. Laser search track is safe as we won't be needing the laser codes today. Our TGP is set up here on the right DDI. We're in FLIR mode. All right, and then we have our JDAM. So I'm going to go ahead and set the JDAMs here. We're going to go to uh, mode here and set the target of opportunity. With target opportunity set, we're going to set our fusing. So we're going to go to instant. All right, we're going to go to JDAM display page and we're going to go to mission. Okay, and we have target opportunity one, target of opportunity two. All right, so here's what we're going to do. What I'm going to do here for target of opportunity one on station eight is I'm going to set weapon designate, okay? And you can see the coordinates have now been set here, okay? All right, sorry about that, guys. I had a little bit of a malfunction there. So we've got target of opportunity one. We've got waypoint three selected with weapon designate here, all right? <clears throat> and uh, that's on station eight. Now, currently at the time of making this video, there's no way to program more than one target at the same time for the different waypoint modes. So we're going to have to drop one bomb, then select waypoint four, then hit target designate, and drop the bomb on station two. Okay, I'll show you guys what that looks like here. And as usual, guys, if I'm incorrect about any of this, don't hesitate to speak up. So let's go ahead and accelerate. We're gonna come off autopilot. We're gonna get airborne here. I should say get higher airborne. See what I did there? Boom, got it. And as usual up on the HUD, you can see our time to max range. Bombers are in manual mode, J82, target of opportunity, and we can see that we are currently 30 miles to the target. Down here on our HSI, we can see our bombing circles, letting us know that once we cross the first circle, we will be in range. Because we hit weapon designate, we can see the TGP in the target area, so we can go ahead and uh, make that our sensor of interest and use our field of view button. And if we did our coordinates correct, we should zoom right in on a target. Okay. And remember, the higher we go and the faster we go, the sooner we'll be able to drop the bomb. Climbing out past 17,000 now. I want to get pretty high here. I want to give us enough time to set the second bomb and get it out the door. Now at 19,000. And the cool thing about the JDAM too is even in a climb we could drop the bomb if we wanted. Let's do 20,000. That should be good. There's plenty of time. You still get to drop the bomb about 15, 16 miles out. And it is a pretty quick process. It's a lot of uh, hands-on work there for a second, but it's pretty quick. So we're going to hit our autopilot and set our barometric altitude hold. Now remember, once we release the one bomb, the aircraft's going to pitch real hard to uh, whatever side it is released. So in this case, Station 8 is going to go first. So we should get a left-wing dip. 
assuming I uh, have my stations correct, which it's possible I don't. Wouldn't be the first time. Alright, so we're 25 seconds to maximum range. Go ahead and set the camera back up here. Set our auto throttle on by hitting T on the keyboard here. Six seconds to range. And remember the J to MJ sows are fire and forget. Alright, so we're in range. There's pickle one. And now what I'm going to do is come down here real quick, switch to waypoint four, go to weapon designate. We've got the new target set. And pickle two. Okay, we should be able to come to our stores page. And our JDAMs are still on board. Why? There's one. All right, so let's cycle back down to three. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Weapon designate again. There's bombs. Hmm, that was interesting. All right, so we should be able to see both of these explode here on our TGP. So we'll go ahead and come to the left a little bit. Oh, you know what? I don't think I was holding down my pickle button. Sorry about that, guys. Or holding it down, I don't think I pressed the pickle button, I really don't. We don't want to get too far off here, so we're going to go ahead and bring it over a little bit. Start coming back the other direction. Let's switch to our wide field of view. Zoom in a bit. And boom, got them both. All right, so that's how you use target of opportunity mode with multiple JDAMs using your waypoints. Now I will reset real quick and show you guys how to do it with the targeting pod. And you'll find out that's just as simple. See you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so we are back and I'm going to show you guys how to use target of opportunity mode with the JNM and the TGP. But first, I'm going to show you guys a couple of caveats and weird things that may happen that you may not be ready for. So first thing I'm going to do is obviously we need to time in our JDAM, right? Now with the JDAM timed in, or timing I should say, JDAM is selected. If we want to hit our weapon designate, now remember when we hit weapon designate on waypoint two, we should see the TGP slew to the target area, right? So if I hit that, notice it doesn't do anything, even if I go to three. Okay, let's go to waypoint three, hit weapon designate, TGP doesn't move. In its sensor of interest, let's go ahead and go to the flare to make it easier to see. Okay, nothing's changing. Now, let me show you something else here. So if I unbox the JDAM, now the TGP moved. Okay, here is why. Okay, and it's the same thing. Okay, if I go down to waypoint two, weapon designate, okay, it doesn't matter. Waypoint three, waypoint four, okay, it doesn't matter. So, we're going to go waypoint two, designate, and actually we're going to undesignate it here. Let's do this. Let's cage the TGP. We're going to bring our JDAM back in. Now, remember I already showed you guys before that if, go to weapon designate again, say like weapon three, Nothing happens with the TGP. Watch what happens when I switch the mode from pre-plan to target of opportunity. Ding! And we can switch to waypoint two, same thing. Weapon designate, and there it is. So, if you are trying to slew your TGP while the JDAM is selected and the TGP will not weapon designate to a waypoint, Reason being is you are in pre-plan mode. You must switch it to target of opportunity mode before trying to um, use your TGP to track the target. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and reset our electronic fusing into instant. Let's go to the JDAM display page and let's go into mission. Okay. And we can still see that our JDAM is not ready. So let's go ahead and actually wait for it to time in. Let's go back one here. 
let's go return. And we'll let it time in here. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the time for a second. Do 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 do. I hope you guys love my beautiful music. It's really awesome. I'm thinking about putting out an album. Do 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 do. Okay, cool. All right. Glad that. Hope you guys had a lot of fun there. It was fun for me. All right. So, notice that there is already a waypoint selected for. Um, the mission. That is because we have still weapon designate, okay, or waypoint designated the target. Now we don't want to use that though. So what we're going to do, and keep in, keep an eye on these coordinates here, right? So they're going to change. So what we're going to do is just like before, we're going to use our TGP. We're going to zoom in, and let's pull some targets from a different side this time. Uh, yeah, let's grab these guys. I don't like them very much. So we're going to zoom in as close as we can on him. Right on it. Uh, even with the modded slew, it's touchy. And now we're going to hit our weapon designate button. Okay, so let's pay attention to coordinates. I'm just going to click it right now. And you can see they've now changed. All right. So we are ready to drop bomb number one once we get into range. So let's get out of active pause and rain some hell. And we'll go ahead and keep on climbing up. There we go, decreasing that time pretty rapidly now. I've gone to full throttle. And once again, let's play some of our music. I don't know how circus music got into this. All right, cool. So 15 seconds, level out. That should increase even faster. We don't have to be right on the waypoint. Or 16 seconds. To maximum range. Wait for it. And ready. There's pickle one. All right. So now what I'm going to do is redesignate the weapon. Oh, not working. Target of opportunity mode. Okay. So now let's go ahead and zoom out really quickly. Let's find another target. Let's use this guy right here. And target designate. Coordinates change on the left hand side. Pickle again. Oh. Oh, you know what? It's because I had four stores on there. That makes sense. I'm like, why do I still have bombs on there? Alright, so let's go ahead and watch the bombs come in. That's a lot more fun. Ugh. Why do I always forget to turn those off? We should have one that's closer. Yep, that guy. And let's go ahead and z speed up time a little bit. If I could turn back time. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Sometimes when I fast forwarded before, the bomb like just goes way off. So we should see a lot of death here. Let's switch to the other one. There's one. And there's two. Alright guys, so that is the basics of using the JDAM or JSAL. They process the exact same for both of them in target of opportunity mode using your TGP and waypoints. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, hit the like and subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below and requests, as this video itself was a request. And I will see you guys in the next one. Be safe, guys.